welcome to another video in today's one we are looking at the bmw 3 series so if you're in the market or if you are a big fan please do hit that like button so right now we are looking at the front of this particular one uh, and i must say i really like how it looks i'm not really a big fan of those extra big kidney grills for me they just make this vehicle look a little bit weird so yeah guys uh as normal we are going to do a walk around of this one just to show you how the exterior looks and then we're gonna also jump inside to see how the interior looks so just judging from the front uh, really it is uh, very nice uh, however i'm not really a big fan as well of this particular color i would have preferred it maybe in blue or in white so currently this one it is riding on 19 inch alloy wheels and also on bridgestone tires so yeah guys uh, this particular vehicle or rather this particular 3 series it comes in with uh, five engine derivatives so they are four petrol and then one diesel the one that we are looking at today this is a petrol variant so this is a 320i and in terms of pricing you will get it as from 887,000 rand so yeah guys cars are no longer cheap nowadays if you want to buy a brand new vehicle you have to have quite a lot of money and then uh, besides this one there is one model uh, one engine variant which is lower than this which is your 318 and pricing you can get it as from 827,000 going upwards and then just after this one there's another petrol engine which is the 330i and pricing you get it just up above a million and then also there is another petrol engine which is the m340i that one pricing will get it just above 1.3 million and also the diesel engine which is the last vehicle it is uh, a 320d and pricing will get it as from 935,000 so yeah wala. and then checking out the back side of this uh, vehicle you get uh, two exhaust uh, pipes so which is also a cool touch there and then you also get uh, those sensors when you are reversing so that you don't uh, hit those poles or you don't uh, reverse into a wall overall i really think this back it is very nice i like how those back lights integrate into the body of the vehicle it is just absolutely nice and then uh, just having a closer look at those sensors very neat and then uh, there you have it 320 so in terms of engine performance and consumption this particular engine produces 135 kilowatts and also a claimed uh, fuel consumption is 6.5 liters for every 100 kilometers so yeah guys for those of you who either own this particular vehicle or who have uh, driven this particular one if you manage to hit that uh, 6.5 and then in terms of acceleration 0 to 100 you can do it in 7.4 seconds uh, which is uh, quite good uh, considering that this is not really a performance uh, vehicle and then uh, now just moving on to the front of the vehicle uh, you can see that it is uh, quite neat there aren't any scratches or any dents because this is still a fairly brand new vehicle and then look at that integrated uh, indicator onto that uh, view mirror absolutely nice Perfect. And then now we are going to jump inside the vehicle just to see how it looks so once you are inside this is the door panel of uh, this uh, 3 series so as you can see uh, very standard you can see you've got your controls there so from there all windows are operated electronically so you can also uh, open and close and then you can lock all your windows and then you can also adjust your view mirrors from there and then there is your door handle if you want to open your door and then you can also lock or unlock it from there as well which is also sort of like standard and then there is your cup holder or your bottle holder and then you can open your trunk or your boot from that button right at the bottom and then you've got your speaker right there and then down there you can see you've got your accelerator and your brake and then that lever that's how you open your bonnet so you simply pull it and then it will open and then up here this is where you control uh, your lights you can switch them on or you can turn them off from here so yeah uh, quite a uh, standard with these uh, bmws and then there are your air vents as well and then looking at the seats so you get leather seats uh, both front and also at the back 
and then uh, you've got your seat adjusters there so you can um, pull that seat forward or you can make it uh, lean a little bit backwards so yeah for 887,000, you still get also uh, those things in manual which is quite interesting eh? anyways uh, you can see these seats they are really really nice and they are quite comfortable and then uh, just to show you more on the steering wheel as you can see there is your hooter and you also have got an airbag right there uh, should the unfortunate happen you at least you get some form of protection and then there you can increase or decrease your volume you can also answer your phone and then you can seek in between uh, songs and then this side as well you can set your cruise control which is also a good thing in other different uh, modes as well so yeah guys and this vehicle it has uh, pedal shifters as well and then looking at the center console you can see you've got your air vents and then you've got your volume control knob there and then you've got your hazards and then your temperature you can increase it from your max to main and then your songs you can also operate them from there you can skip to the next or go to the previous uh, song so yeah guys everything it is um quite simple and easy to understand and then there you've got a usb port and then you also you've got your wireless charging point as well there you've got also cup holders and then you can actually close that if you don't uh, want to put any cup holders or if you want to put your phone in then and then you charge it and then you can close that panel and then this is one of the interesting uh, things in the bmw obviously you've got your infotainment system uh, unfortunately it is off so i cannot show you how to operate this but just to have a rundown there is your gear selector you can select from reverse drive and neutral then you can put it in park and then it's a keyless entry so you've got your start stop button there and then uh, you can also choose between different modes your um, sport your eco sport and all that and then there you've got extra storage so for you to open it you just press on that button and then it will open and then the good thing it has light and also usb charging point the type c which is also a nice touch and then we've got your leather seats as well and then that is extendable i think it's because the car is off so i couldn't um extend that and then that is your glove compartment if you want to store extra stuff you can put them in there so overall guys this is the interior this is the front of this uh, particular bmw it is quite nice and then up there you can see your lighting and then it is a sunroof if you want to control that you obviously pull it backwards or you can push it uh, to the front for it to open up so there is your sunroof uh, unfortunately as mentioned i don't have the key to this one otherwise i would have uh, shown you but overall what do you think of this particular interior do you like it are you a big fan of that huge screen personally i really like it so if you like this particular uh interior please do hit that thumbs up button and then moving on um, at the back side of the vehicle uh, the same thing as well your windows are electronically uh, operated which is a good thing and then you can lock and unlock your door um, as well and then you've got uh, a place where you can put your container as well or you can put your water bottle and then you also get your speaker there and then at the back as well you get some usb charging points and then you can also get uh, some air vents you can control actually as well the airflow and all that which is really a good thing so you don't have to rely on the driver you can actually control this uh, at the back So overall at the back it is quite okay and then you also get your isofix points so if you want to travel with your little one you simply input your car seat and then you connect it there and then you are good to go so yeah overall i think it is a very uh, good vehicle yeah it's only that uh, that pricing these vehicles they are really really now quite expensive and remember if you are buying this particular one on finance you will also need insurance because they won't allow you to take the vehicle without insurance so yeah and also the petrol uh, pricing it doesn't help and then there is that sunroof that i wanted to show you guys 
uh, that it, it's actually there and then you've got your shark fin there which is also quite nice and then now we're just gonna look at the boot space to see what kind of space do you have there and then to open there is a button that you press there and then the tailgate it will open and then you can see guys you've got a lot of uh, space that you can put your stuff uh, right so if you've got a uh, luggage that you want to carry i think this is way more than enough normally with uh, your sedans you get way more space compared to your hatchbacks so yeah guys uh, let me know what you think of this uh, three series if you are in the market or if you are in the, the if you are a big fan would you go for this personally i think it is really a good vehicle though that pricing hey i've been crying about that pricing so yeah guys uh let me know what you think of this particular one leave your answers in the comment section below thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers for now